Hi everybody, um, I'm in my office right now, it's the 18th of March, it's just gone 7 o'clock in the evening, um, I've had a busy day today, I've been swimming, um, I've um, been doing a bit of gardening, I did a, had a client this morning, so I've been busy, it's been a quite nice day today, it's been quite sunny, and it makes people feel a lot better doesn't it, when the sun shines it boosts up, and I'm going to talk about the solar energy in a moment. So um, it, we're mid-March, so the first two weeks in March I felt was such a, um, a stuck energy. It was, it was always going to be like two halves was going to be March. So you've got the first half of March that was really stuck. We've had a lot of issues politically here, the royal family and um, various other things. And people's energies felt a little bit down. So yesterday I had to cancel the event. I've got um, quite a few people booked on this Kundalini workshop yesterday. On It was on St. Patrick's Day. Um, and one by one, people were just cancelling. And I was like, okay, what's going on here? And it felt like there was something not going to be quite right in that event. Something was missing that I needed to um, address. And this is what was missing on this piece of paper that I've got here. And so anyway, so I cancelled the event and I sat and I thought, what, what was missing? What, what do we need to um, what do we need to look at? And we look, needed to look at the energy of the sun. So I went online last night and I ordered myself a sun gong. And this is an extra um, instrument that I've got for my, my classes. It's called the um, Chinese sun gong. And it resonates with the energy of the sun and it resonates the energy of vitality, um, motivation, drive, confidence, self mastery, self power. This is all what comes from the solar energy, the sun's energy in our body. And we all have that solar energy. But unfortunately, through poor diet, ultra processed foods, lack of exercise, lack of sun, lack of vitamin D. From the sunshine we can get depleted so a lot of those are things that we you know we need to address the first one is the the lack of sun we've had so little sun in the last few months in this country in i'm mean, here in the uk it's been raining we've had we've had floods so much i've never seen so much rain i've never seen so much flooding um you know it's it's pretty pretty bad um anyway so the whole of the um the uk's energy has been really off with all these things going on and so it, it was almost like yesterday there's a line drawn and it was like enough's enough let's move on let's move from this stuck energy because we're all collectively stuck in this energy no sun pe feeling pretty tired the things that was going on in the uk politically and all the rest of it it pulls you down so it's like enough's enough. Yesterday, put a line under it. I bought my gong. Let's move on. So we're here today. I woke up this morning, and normally the last few, last, sorry, it's my phone going off. Last few days, I felt really quite tired when I woke up in the morning. But this morning, I was like, oh, I feel, I feel really good today. And I've just spoken to my friend and uh, on the phone, and she was saying the same thing. She woke up this morning and said. Well, I felt really energised this morning. I felt motivated. I felt good. And the energy had shifted. Something shifted kind of overnight. So I don't know uh, astrology, how that would be. But I do know that we've got this solar um, eclipse coming up on the 8th of, of April. Uh, that's going to be huge, by the way. And we've also got the equinox, which is the spring equinox, where it's like the start of the, of the spring in the... Um, uh, northern part of the um, energy and the southern part of the southern part of the equator has the autumn equinox so we are in the in the UK we're coming into the spring equinox so it's spring in the UK so our, our clocks will change at the end of this month which will again make a difference in our energy we, uh, we go forward uh, a, an hour so when like now it will be eight o'clock so how is this affecting us? So when we have lack of sun, we have lack of mot motivation, vitality. It basically is like um, I've got solar panels on my, my roof. And when those solar panels are active, it brings in this energy 
electricity is made and it's the same with us we have our own battery we have our solar plexus and then we have the bahara center which is just slightly below or the dantian as it's called in chinese medicine and that is our storage point of our energy our chi our prana our life force our vitality so if this is a like not really getting a lot of sunshine we're going to feel tired so we need to kind of work on this yellow ray so things like wearing a yellow top i mean I'm, i've got my navy top on today and i think oh, i should have put some yellow on but buying some daffodils maybe planting some daffodils, getting out in the yellow energy i've been in my garden this afternoon and it's full of yellow flowers it's beautiful so you're feeling that yellow ray working with the breath of fire if you do yoga kundalini yoga we'll work on the breath of fire um or kapalabhati as it's called in hatha yoga working on the energy of um feeling the you know our posture makes a difference if we sit in like this we're not going to feel good we need to open this solar plexus we're in yellow talks about the spiritual warrior this is a, what the energy i got from this book which is called the chakra workshop that's uh, chakra workout rather by mary horsley and i got a lot of information out of that about the solar energy so it's a bit like the volcano um you it was almost like the last two, first two weeks of, of of march has been so like ignited and it had to go somewhere and it's almost like that's what happened yesterday you know when something hits a tipping point it either snowballs somewhere <coughs> or it literally explodes and that was almost like the energy yesterday and it was it's it's changed something it felt a big change so we can get things like volcanoes so let's go forward slightly to the 8th of april and we have a solar eclipse the solar eclipse is going to be more visible in the us and i know you've got stuff going on over there elections and things like that um and but it's it will be visible slightly in the uk and in europe but not particularly brilliant as obviously if it's a cloudy day we probably won't see anything because we don't see the sun anyway <laughs> so let's hope it's a clear day we'd love you to see the solar eclipse or a little bit of it if we can um obviously don't look into it it's not a good thing to look into it you can make these little um things on the pavement i did that many years ago with the children i can't remember how we did it now but we had something where the, where the ray came in and it showed you the it actually showed the movement of the the solar eclipse which was really interesting the kids loved it and we had a whole day in the garden and we were gardening and watching this rays and and uh, yeah it was interesting so th obviously the fire the fire energy of the solar eclipse it's all about fire it's all about the the manipura in the, in the energy of aries so it's going to be more powerful it is quite a big deal on this 8th of, of april so if you do if you can spend some time on that day to meditate on the sun's energy and draw it in you know and make the make make a bit of a, a special day of it i'm actually not working on that day i don't think i can't i've got my diary somewhere but i don't think i'm working that day um so that was quite nice i'm gonna have a day to myself and, and enjoy the sun if we get any and the solar eclipse but the energy of fire so this this solar um, eclipse coming in is about and what this book was talking about was the, that fire draws people together and we are lacking that sense of bringing people together i was thinking this morning i i've got a lot of friends and i haven't seen them for so long i don't know where they've all gone i really i don't know they've disappeared under a rock um and i think a lot of it's to do with social media you know people get so involved with the social media and what's going on through the phone that they lose that sense of community and they lose the sense of a connection with another human being so i reached out to one of my friends i thought i've got a list of all these lovely friends that i have and i'm going to reach out to them and make an effort to meet up one summer i used to do that before 2019 before this craziness started so i'm going to go back to that so it might be something that you can do yourself because it is about this fire draws people together and you know if you would and an, um i do a lot of camping in the summer and sometimes this fires you know people have fire pits and they'll be probably cooking on the fire pit and i love it there's all these people with little fire and you can be walking off to the 
um, to the shower block to go and use the bathroom. Um, I'm in my tent, so I don't have a, a, a toilet. So I'll go off to the, the bathroom. And on the way back, there's all these fires. And people are just, oh, hi, how are you doing? And people are chatting. You know, they, it brings people together. So that's interesting about the fire bring, draws people together. And I think that's what we need to do. I think the message for us in March is to be connecting to friends and, and making that effort to, to see them. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just have a quick um, sip of tea. There's lots of information in that book. I won't go on too much about, um, about that because I want to pull some cards. And I had three or four decks with me that I was going to use. I had the um, Doreen Virtues Magic Unicorns. I've got the Gaia Oracle and I've got the Earth Magic. Now, I started to make this video and I got to this point when I was talking about the cards and then my phone went off and it was my son and I needed to talk to him because um, he got something going on this morning and I needed to just find out what was going on. I didn't want to be rude. So I've got these three cards, three packs of cards, and I, I got halfway through a message, but I'm just going to douse over these cards again to see if they want me to read another deck. So let's just ask. Oh, so I've got my douser. Excuse me. So am I using this one? Am I using this one? Or am I using this one? OK, it's actually gone to a different deck, which is quite interesting. But one of the cards, whoa, the energy just changed then. One of the cards, sorry, one of the cards that came out of this deck, as I don't know if I can find it right now, but as I was doing the, um, the reading, I think I've put it back. It's probably gone into the pack and I can't find it. But one of them was talking about, um, no, can't find it. It was, ah, uh, was it here? Yeah, it was this card. So this card I pulled, I pulled three cards. One was about the ancestors. One was this solitude and the other one was perspective. OK, so they were the three cards that I picked or I didn't pick. I pulled, came out these one. One was the island. One was the Milky Way perspective and the other one was the ancestors. OK, generations. The other one was perspective and the other one was the solitude. So those were the three cards I pulled out. But it, for some reason, they also want me to pull some cards from this unicorn deck, which I'm going to do in a moment. But this was the card that made me think about my friends and reaching out because it was talking about solitude. We spent too much time in this energy and it's become comfortable. I was talking, it's quite interesting because this card of generations and ancestors, I met up with um, one of my um, relations today and they're very, they're, elderly people they're in their late 80s and 90s and I love them to bits they are the most beautiful couple you know they're they're wonderful and we need to look at the older generation they don't sit there on their phones scrolling they were having a cup of tea she was reading the magazine um you know that it was all about um wanting to chat so we had an hour's half an hour's chat a cup of tea like it used to be. It was lovely. Um, we need to do more of that. We don't want to get stuck in this solitude energy. And one of the questions, one of the things that I said to them, because this this energy, it was a couple and they're off to they're going off um, on holiday soon. And I and they were talking about flying because they're in late, late 80s. They were talking about flying and they were saying, oh, I don't like the airports. It's all busy and and we have to have assistance now as we get older. And I suddenly thought, I've not been away on a holiday since 2019. I've been on holiday, but I've not been abroad anywhere. And I could feel that I'm stuck in that energy there, that solitude. And I said to them, I need to snap out of this. I need to start traveling a bit more, doing stuff that I used to do with friends and all of that. So don't get stuck in that um, solitude energy. I mean, not everybody's in that energy, hopefully. Oops. Um, but I felt I was, okay? So these cards are probably a little bit for me, but this is about getting the perspective of this. You know, what is what is really going on here? This is Milky Way. So those were the three cards I pulled uh, before I had to call my friend. My son was calling me, so I had to answer the call. So I'm gonna pull um, some cards from this deck 
And these are the Magic Unicorn decks. Love unicorns. Okay, so let's just um, shuffle this a little bit. Give it a little bit of a, a tap in because I've not used these cards for a long time. So I want to ask for three cards. That one's just wanting to jump out. But I want to ask for three cards for the energy of the second part of, of March. What energy up until the eclipse? Okay. So, okay. Well, I'm just let's just do the eclipse. Let's just do the, the equinox first. So three cards giving some energy for the equinox. Whoa. Okay. Oh, there's quite a lot of cards. I'm not pulling that lot. Well, there's one. <laughs> do you see that? It flipped out. It really flipped out. So that was one. There was another one. They're all very jumpy. They've got lots of messages, it's saying. Lots of messages coming in. There's the other one. So we've actually got four cards. And at the bottom of the deck, hello and goodbye. You soon see this that this change will make things better. That's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You soon see that this change will make things better. So I do feel this change is coming. So the first card that flew out let go of stress and it says don't take on other people's stress breathe it out now so can you see that beautiful they're all about unicorns the second card that came out was you are gifted Isn't that beautiful wish my hair looked like that okay you are very intelligent and talented yeah we've all got a lot of unique talents within us don't know which one was the next one that came out, but I'll pull this one. Laughter. What lovely cards. And it says, you need a good laugh. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. You need a good laugh. Okay. And the last card is happy thoughts. These are really nice cards. It says, to feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. And that's what I was saying before 2019, I, up until 2019, and then when 2020 came in, obviously not a lot of us travelled. And I've not travelled since then. And this is what I used to do. I used to do lovely things, you know, think about something that you've done before and enjoyed. And to me, that looks like above the clouds, you know, travelling. So look at all this lovely sunshine above the clouds. And then below, they've got all this, the clouds and this little unicorn sitting there, all on his own, or her own. Okay, so I'm going to pull one more card, because I've got another pack, another deck here. Put those there. I feel like I need to pull a few cards today. And this one, and they're gorgeous, aren't they? All of that energy there is beautiful. We've got out of that mud that we were in. And this is the energy that's coming in. And I love this one where it says, um, don't take on other people's stress, breathe it out now. Um, which was the one that was talking about, um, yeah, that moving on energy. Yeah. Reading a laugh. Oops. Sorry, this card was just, oh, it was on the, I was trying to find, I thought there's another card I was reading. I can't mess up the message. It was the one on the bottom, wasn't it? You soon see that the thing that this change will make things better. I'm gonna keep that one out. <laughs> On the bottom of the card, best friends. Get out and see your friends. It's not connecting. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling sad that I don't see people. I don't see hardly anybody. Yeah, it's sad. Very sad. Because the phone has taken away our friendships a lot of the time. We don't just speak to people on the phone. We don't see them face to face. We don't do that. I mean, I I try, but yeah, it's sad. It really is sad. So best friends, what does it say? True friends stick together no matter what. So don't think you're losing your friends. Yeah, that's a little message for me. Don't think you're losing your friends. They're there and they'll be back soon and things will be better. Yeah. We we have a bit of a um an upliftment of energy there, so I'm going to put that best friends card. This this um unicorn card really wants to speak to me. <laughs> there we go. So I asked for a card 
for us. I didn't really ask for a card, did I? I just shuffle it. Okay, let's ask. This is the Gaia card. This is the Earth energy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Whatever it was. Whatever I was asking for. <laughs> We've got Amethyst. Um, transformation. Can, uh, certainty and confidence okay well i'll take that but i was going to ask for the um the the solar eclipse <laughs> see it's all getting a bit <laughs> it's all a bit crazy yeah so we need to just calm down a little bit let's calm down a little bit because i think there's going to be quite a lot of changes on that date so we'll put this one back in the pack okay let's just calm down the cards let's calm it down okay oh there's one card in the pack that's not been put in okay might need those okay so let's just have one card for the solar eclipse on the 8th of april just one card please spirit one card just one card it's very fiery there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of changes okay one card please one card spirit please one card one card. Right. It's one card. See how they were the jumping around earlier on. Now they've settled down a little bit. Just one card, please. There we go. Let's see what this one is. I haven't got my glasses and these are quite um hmm. oh what a lovely card. Liberation. that lovely dub of peace and it says breaking free from a negative situation it just about sums it up doesn't it really look how that beautiful that is yeah the dove is holding the sun see that energy there the sun bringing in the sunshine let's just see what's on the bottom of the pack reflection illusion self-examination and distortion that's what we're moving away from we're moving away from whoa you see their cards are just literally jumping out they all want to speak to me there's so many messages in these cards sorry just gonna put the packs back but whoops <laughs> we're moving from this energy which is about illusion to this energy which is about transformation and they've both got kind of the eclipse, haven't they, really? If you look at this, it's like the the um, the eclipse going through. Yeah, if it goes through its cycle. Yeah, and then comes this. So on the 8th of, of um, April, I'm feeling this energy of liberation. It's not going to all come in at once, but this is where we're heading. And isn't that amazing? We've got some gorgeous cards here, by the way. These are really nice cards because when I was starting to pull those cards, because my son, as I say, my son phoned and I, I cut the video and I didn't restart it. So and we'd already got these three cards, these ancestors. So the ancestors coming in to say, you know, do things a little bit how we used to do them. Get out of that solitude energy. And the Milky Way is again about that, get things into perspective, get things in order. How do you want to live your life? And again, you've got this lovely energy in the centre there. Beautiful cards, absolutely beautiful cards. I'm feeling this card for some reason is the indigenous people as well. You know, the ancient tribal. I did a, I did a sound bath at the weekend on Saturday, actually. It wasn't Sunday, I did the other one, but this was another workshop that I did on the Sunday, the Saturday rather. And what I did, I played the drum. And it for me, that drum, when I play my drum, it feels like the ancestors talking to me, but the very, very old, real, primal, you know, almost like going around a fire kind of energy. And if you look at that, it's quite fiery, isn't it? It's got a lot of red energy and it's got like this sort of um, almost like a ring of fire, almost like a bit like the solar eclipse, uh, the solar eclipse sorry. And the ancestors, um, we've got a snake there and we've got the foot, the handprints. So 
talking about hands and feet. Um, I was talking about the energy of grounding on Saturday and the energy of getting your hands and feet on the earth and grounding. And that snake is, is interesting because the snake is, is going downwards. It's going down. Snake should go up. Okay, so that's interesting. Snake needs to reverse itself and go back up again. But yeah, that's the ancestors coming in and um, I'm feeling like a real indigenous, probably a little bit Australian. Uluru, is it Uluru? I can never pronounce it very much, but that ancestors, you know, going back to the old roots, going back to the old ways of doing things. There's going to be a lot, I think, a lot of wisdom, like this card here says you're very intelligent and very talented. I think there's going to be a lot of old talents coming in. Please don't stop them. Please don't, you know. One thing we do, and I was talking to this again to these late my ancestors. <laughs> I call them the they're they're really, you know, they're in the nineties and they're incredible. Um, but we were talking about talent, and we were talking about when somebody has got a um, a talent, and some other person comes along and they don't particularly think. That, that should be something that they should be able to do and we go oh you don't want to be doing that you know they say I want to be an artist and I want to be able to do this this and this or I've got this job that I can actually use my talents and people get one they get quite can be a little bit jealous which is not a good thing but there's that energy of oh you don't want to do that sit with the job you've got you don't want to be doing that what are you going to what are you going to do with that that's going to go nowhere that's the kind of energy that we don't want to go into. We need to we need to help people, empower people to go, yes, have a go, do it. If it all fails, so, so what? It doesn't matter. At least you've stood on that space and said, I want to do this. There's quite a few things that I I would like to do and I've not had the chance yet to do them. One of which is to learn to play the guitar and... Um, I don't, I'll have to talk to you about the story of my guitar at some point, but I'm not going to tell you it right now because it will be another half an hour video. And this video is now uh, 27 minutes long. I didn't think I was actually going to get around to finishing this video. But those cards are lovely. Those cards are really positive. Let go of stress. You are gifted. Laughter. Hello and goodbye. Bye bye to the old stuff. But knowing that things are going to be better. Happy thoughts. Travelling. Getting out on you on your plane, going with your besties, go with your bestie friends, and embrace this on the eighth of, of April. Getting out of this stuck, dull, stuck um, self-examination, distortion, illusion energy. Stop the dreaming energy and get into this energy, this energy of liberation, and enjoy the rest of March. So that's my message for you today. Um, I'm going to put this on, I'm going to um, put it on YouTube at some point and I hope you all have a lovely, lovely um, uh, solar eclipse and the equinox, which is on spring equinox, which is on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so tomorrow and Wednesday. Enjoy. Um, I've not got anything really planned for that day. I'd like to do something, but I, I don't know what my day is going to bring. bring. Hopefully I might get a haircut. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm sorry the video is a bit uh, higgledy piggledy with the cards, but I hope it's given you a good message and I will see you very soon. Lots and lots of love. Please, 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 if you enjoyed this video tonight, it's a bit different than I normally do, but if you enjoyed this video tonight, please like, please share and please subscribe. If you're not a member of the or a subscription to this channel, it doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is click the subscribe button. And it will notify, and there's a little bell icon. If you press on the bell icon, it will notify you when I put another video out. It helps to get the message out. Somebody else might want to listen to this video and get something from it. So please share it with your friends and please like. And I will see you soon. Lots and lots of love. You take care, everybody. Bye. Bye bye.